Well, SRAM and Shimano are now both offering wireless group sets on their, their road bike systems. And this is really great that we have this because it really makes it a lot easier to wire up the bikes and fit the group sets to the new bikes. But one area that's been really left out is blip changes and blip changes for time attack bikes and triathlon bikes. And you still need to currently have a, some sign of a box, a combination box where you actually have to wire up your tri bars and your base bars to a blip box and then that transmit back to your derailers to do the shifting. But SRAM is developing a new system. So let's roll an intro and let's have a look at this new system that might be coming in 2022. Well, these blip devices are designed to be a completely sealed unit. Now, when I might say sealed unit, I mean they're completely sealed. The batteries can't be recharged and they can't be replaced. So it's basically like a disposable product. They do say that they will last four to seven years. So that's a fairly decent time. But the really good thing about them is they come with a clip and double-sided tape. So you can either mount them on your bike using the clip or you can mount them on your bike using the double-sided tape so they're very versatile where you can actually fit them on the bike now the blips are a, a they're a completely sealed unit so basically they're a throwaway device and what SRAM have done is they've put like a disposable battery in there so when they run out then they'll just be have to be chucked in the bin because you can't open them up you can't change the battery and there's no coin battery, there's no charging port. So it's just a one-side battery that's fitted in there. But SRAM are saying that they're going to last between four and seven years. Now the blip boxes, even though they come with an app that can adjust them, that's mostly to set up the configuration of how you want them to work. It doesn't actually pair them to the rear part of the actual system, which is the rear derailleur and the, the front derailleur. That is the issue at the moment. You need to have a blip box or some other type of device that, that has a communication device in it to get them to connect. So then you can pair them to the back of the bike. And once that's done, then you don't need those blip boxes. But I would imagine this is just something that in the prototype, this will have to be sorted out. I imagine that you would do something like you hold the button on them, all of them for 10 seconds, if you want four or six or two. And then what you would do is, is you would push each one in sequence from left to right to pair them to the rear components of the bike. But um, what is really good is these things will have no wires at all on them and they're a completely sealed unit and they can be fitted to anywhere on your handlebars. Now these shifters currently can't do micro shifting, so that's a little bit of a bummer. You can't trim the trim the gears from these little micro shifts. But I think that SRAM will need to put all this functionality into the shifters somehow, or have some sort of device that comes with them that you plug that you can plug into, then or, or that they they connect to first, and then you can use them to adjust or do micro adjustments via an app. There has to be some way that you can use them like normal shifters so you don't have to buy anything else to get them to work if you're specifically building a TT bike or a triathlon bike. So that's something that needs to be ironed out with the design so far because you need these integral other bits to get them to pair to your system. But in conclusion, I think SRAM are really onto something here because 
if you've ever wired up a triathlon bike with those bars and everything like that, even though it's got a blip box and you don't have to put it through the frame, the frame's the easy part compared to going through all of these connections and everything that are in your triathlon bike. So I think this is something really good for those people who like to ride TT bikes or triathlon bikes. It's going to simplify their, their whole cockpit when it comes to fitting out their gear changes to a huge degree. And I would have to say that this is really, really welcomed. I mean, I don't own a triathlon bike or a TT bike, but I have seen, you know, mechanics in bike shops struggling and spending hours wiring up these systems. So this will be a real welcome by people to simplify how these things are actually fitted. Well, guys, I'm running out a bit of a light here. It's, um, we've got the street lights on. I don't know if you can see. I'm starting to get a bit dark in the face. You're starting to get that glow, that sunset glow. I think the sun's probably gone down already. And I have to get on my bike. We're going to get back home because I'm on the cycle path here on the Tonkin Highway, which is a fantastic facility. So anyway, guys, if you're into TT bikes, triathlon bikes, leave your comments down below and let us know what you think about uh, these sorts of wireless systems that can be easily fitted. And I will see you next vid.